So this video, we're going to create a image field for a book. So if we go to Amazon, we can see the example. We've got the image of the book. We can see the cover. And if we click on the back of the book image, we see the what the back of the book looks like. So I'm going to go back to Jupyter. And what I'm going to do next is click on where it says Merge. I'm going to make sure to choose Structure. And I'm going to choose Content Types. And I'm going to make a shortcut to this content type. So I'm going to select this. So this will save me a bit of time getting to the content type. So you see here, now we have content types in our shortcuts. So I'm going to choose the book content type and click Manage Fields. Next thing we're going to do is select where it says Add Field. And we're going to Set on add new, we see we've got image field, but if we go to reuse fields, we've already got an image field, so we could reuse this on our article content. So we're going to select this image field and that will save us on our um, usage on our database. So we're going to now click save and continue. I'm going to go to Schema and I'm going to go to where it says thing. And we've got image here, so we know we're using the right label. Just copy that. So I've got to paste the text in here, I've got to leave all the settings how they are, and just scroll down to the bottom and click Say Settings. So we can see our image field here. So let's go and add an image to our book content. So I've got to click on where it says Back to Site. And here we can see our Harry Potter post. So I'm just going to add an image here, so we're going to click on Edit and we're going to scroll down and we can see now we have this image field. So I've just got to add this uh, photo from the Harry Potter book. So I've got to choose uh, the choose file button and then I've just got to choose the color for our Harry Potter book. Click on open and you see it's loaded up now and we've just got to put a description. And then we've just got to scroll down, click on save and publish. Okay, so if we scroll down, we can see the photo of a book. But if we go to Amazon, we can see there's actually two images. There's, there's the front of the cover of the book and the back cover of the book. So let's try and add the back cover of the book. So we we'll scroll up, click on Edit. And we're going to scroll down and there's no f upload image button. So why is that? Because we only limited it to like one upload image. So we need to go back to our content type and we're going to click on Manage Fields and we're going to go to our image field, click on Edit. And if we scroll down here, we can see this thing says allowed number of values. So we need to increase this. So I'll just go increase this to like five images. So we can upload five images for our book. Then I'll go click on Save Field Settings. Okay, so we see that saved. Let's see if we can add that new image to our book content type. So we'll click on back to site. And here we can see our Harry Potter book content again. So I'll just go click on where it says edit. Uh, go scroll down. And now we can see another option. We can see we've got this add new file has appeared under our existing image. So we'll just go click on choose file again. Upload the back cover of our book. And we see the image is uploaded. I'm just going to copy this text and just go click on Save, Keep and Publish. And if we scroll down, we see we have the cover now and we have the back cover of the book. So that's how we can upload multiple images or we can set a limit to how many images we can upload.